So another socially distanced uh, group warm-up um, is the use of gates, uh, different areas to space out um, across the teaching area. Um, it's unfortunately raining outside, so we are indoors, but we would obviously promote to be outdoors where you can really maximise on the space um, and making sure that when the gates are set up, they're two metres or even further apart. Um, so in this particular warm-up, we're going to particularly focus on fundamental warm-up, um, fundamental movement. Um, so all I wanted to do to start off with is just to start walking in the space, going through as many gates as they can. Um, I now want them to speed up their walk. We've talked about fast walk, going into a jog, focusing on keeping their heads up, making sure they keep distance from each other. It's actually something we really try and encourage anyway, um, and so uh, and by the nature of the way that the lesson is set up, we should see that that distancing is in place. Um, so now we're sidestepping, sidestepping with a clap above the head, different levels of progression. Can we get into some pivots? So pivot, forward pivot, backwards pivot, a little bit of skipping. Maybe we start to talk to the class about the technique, how to skip, Maybe nice high knees, looking for that right angle. Maybe in the way that we go through the gate could be different, so we use it as a um, go in and out of the gate now rather than directly through, so a small sidestep movement there. Do little jumps over the gate, so two jumps consecutively. One, two, there we go, George, brilliant. Maybe we can look to like push off with a little sprint every time you go through a gate. So a little bit of explosive movement. I might even ask the class to come up with their own ways of, of moving through the gate looking for different foot combinations, um, asking them to be a bit creative about the way that they move. So again, our gate set up for a group warm-up. Well, we could talk about this uh, activity being around uh, dribbling in a particular sport. Uh, I put footballs at the feet of the, uh, the guys here, so we can work on football dribbling through the gates. Uh, we could similarly do that with a basketball, uh, a rugby ball, a uh, hockey stick and ball. So let's get the guys moving, just dribbling the ball through the gates. You see if we're applying this to football dribbling, then we're going to think about different parts of the foot that we're going to use to dribble through the gates. Adding in different levels of progression, like Terms. So when you go through the gate, turn back through the gate. You can then add in different technical term, terms. You'll actually find in the video section of our website um, lots of videos on um, specific techniques for turning. We could also use the gates for uh, fake moves. So um, we're looking for a step over uh, as almost approaching the gate like it's the tender. And try and go out to the side. One of our progressions would also be around making this competitive. So we want to see good ball control, ball staying close to the feet, under control, um, and see how many gates the children can travel through in a set period of time. Um, we could sanction it with every time that they bump into a cone, uh, they uh, lose a point or lose a couple of points. We could make this cross curricular. So every time they go through a gate, that could be relevant to a times table or adding by five or uh, giving them a total and subtracting by ten every time. 